Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By The Farm. And today I want to show you what I've been doing uh, out in this utility area. So in between uh, the food forest and the vegetable garden, uh, I have created a wall, a fence of pallets, um, with pallets going along and then some coming out as well. So they come out like this, uh, and they create sort of bays uh, for doing things in. Uh, but what has happened over the last couple of years since I put the fence up is some of these bays haven't been used for anything, they've got a bit neglected and they've got full of weeds. So a couple of days ago I came out and took the three pallets, two from the back and one from the centre here, took them away, uh, which was easier said than done, uh, because they were totally uh, choked up with uh, cooch grass, which is a really pernicious weed. It sends out very long runners. If you pull it up and snap a piece off, away it goes again. And it had grown all the way up through uh, this damson plant to about this high. You almost couldn't see the bottom half of it. So I've pulled all of that out putting all the pieces that I've gathered uh, into plastic bags so I can get them off the property. Um, and I have detangled uh, most, but not all, of this tree. So I want to put a new compost bay in there, start a new compost pile. And uh, in here, I want to put a water collection point. Um, but this, this self-sown uh, damson or plum, it's a wild plum or a wild damson type thing. Uh, is in the way. Now it just wasn't even here when we moved in uh, and in the first summer it just grew a little bit uh, and maybe by the end of the year it was about eight inches high. Um, so it's done fairly well <laughs> in the last three years. My guess is it's now about eight feet high. It's a good six feet across in each direction and uh, I would really like to move it. I don't actually want to get rid of it and what I'd really like to do is put it in the boundary over there. So along the very edge, along the hedging, it will help uh, form a barrier, reduce the wind in the spring, uh, will give us some flowers and then hopefully uh, some fruit as well. And although we might not want it, I'm sure uh, the local wildlife, the birds uh, would very much appreciate it. So I would like to keep it um, now tomorrow uh, Tony from UK here we grow is coming to visit me and we're going to do a live chat together uh, on my channel uh, so do uh, come and watch that if you can uh, anyway before that happens I'm going to ask Tony to give me a hand uh, moving uh, this tree <laughs> digging up uh, the root balls I mean the roots on it are going to be huge but uh, we can we can chop them down a bit uh, and move it over there which will allow me then uh, to use this space. So my plan is uh, to use one of these great big uh, plastic containers to collect rainwater. What I hope to do uh, is to cut uh, the top of it out. And I haven't yet decided uh, whether I will take the top or whether I'll turn it on its side um, and do it that way. This fits quite neatly uh, into one of the bays as it is, uh, but it does stick up quite a lot. I'm not sure that will matter too much. Anyway, so I'm going to cut the top out uh, and let the rainwater collect in there. So it'll be open to the rain for the water to, to fill it up, but also I'm going to try and fix up some sort of, um, some sort of water collection chute, for want of a better phrase. I'm going to try and put uh, some wood here and then have some metal, uh, a metal, a corrugated metal sheet coming down here um, to collect the rainwater into it. Uh, I haven't got it figured out yet um, and you know how I do stuff I kind of need to try it to, to work out how it's going to work. But anyway that's my plan is to actually collect rainwater. It won't take very long to fill this um, and then I'm going to have to think about what I do with the surplus water because obviously I don't just want it spilling out everywhere so I might need to fix up some sort of overflow for it all these things are things to be thought about and then further down uh, on my on my fence uh, this bay uh, has got <laughs> it's got leaf mold in it um, that I put in uh, not 
awesome just gone but the one before that's looking pretty good uh, I think I could probably uh, take that out of there uh, and get it onto the asparagus I brought over uh, this long uh, well it's a piece of a pallet um, but not pallets as we normally know them uh, it was obviously had something <laughs> very big on it um, but anyway we have these and I've put it across the front of these two compost bays um, and I've started filling these uh, with chicken bedding from the palace because I'm starting to clear that out completely that has been um, a deep litter bedding for really quite a long time because there's so much air flow through that building uh, it's got a completely open front uh, and there's slats in the wood at the back so the air flows through all the time it's never smelt in there which is absolutely fantastic uh, so it has been really deep <laughs> Uh, deep litter chickens have been really good about turning it over uh, so it's time to clear that out completely um, I'm starting uh, to fill these bays with that um, and although that's very fine uh, it is all the same material so what I plan to do is when we when we start mowing when the grass starts growing again when we start mowing I will add some grass clippings into it um, and I could probably do with adding some slightly larger uh, woody pieces as well not many but a few so I will throw in uh, some of the quite well rotted um, wood chips not the ones that have got Leylande on them uh, ones that I put down a couple of years ago um, they are fairly well broken down but not completely so they can go in too and with this bay um, well it's right next to the arch and I really couldn't quite decide what to do with it so for now on a temporary basis I've put a pallet collar in here to see how I like it do I like it looking a bit like a raised bed sort of uh, I would like to put a plant in here to go up and over and to go and get some of the plants that I want Mr J and I went out this weekend uh, to a garden centre So, Mr J and I have come out uh, for an hour or two this afternoon and we are heading uh, to a garden centre. Well, we're here. <laughs> and uh, and we're, let's go have a little look around. Uh, I was given a, a gardening um, token for my birthday. Uh, so I'm going to uh, have a look, see if there's anything we... Whoa, sunlight! <laughs> see if there's anything we'd really like to buy. We've looked all the way around the garden centre. Uh, I had a shopping list of things that I was particularly looking for and there was not uh, one of them <laughs> available to buy. So uh, I will have to go and have a look online uh, and see if I can find some specialist nurseries uh, that we can either go and visit or who will do mail order. So, not the most successful trip out to uh, buy plants that I've ever had. But what I did pick up uh, is an evergreen clematis, a clematis armandi. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, beautiful long evergreen leaves, uh, beautiful scent to it. And that can climb up and over the archway. So it can climb up this side uh, and provide uh, some colour and some shelter on that side to help define this archway and on this side uh, is a rose that I took from a cutting in the last house that I lived in uh, it's a red climbing rose I have no idea uh, what variety it is uh, other than I really liked it uh, it was very pretty and it was a beautiful clear red so that will go up uh, and over that side and as you can see uh, the leaves on this are still here So this, uh, this double bay is, it's floral, it's decorative because I want there to be some areas of the garden that are really quite pretty. Uh, so that's got rose and peonies, it's got antirinums, little snapdragons, which I've put in uh, for my grandchildren. Uh, it has another rose and it's got a couple of very, very small evergreen plants in it, uh, which will take some time uh, to do their thing. So all in all, uh, I am really pleased with the progress I'm making 
uh, on this fence in terms of tidying it up, making it work the way I need it to work, making it attractive and uh, building new soil uh, for the future. Well, it's getting quite nippy out here. Uh, I'm going to head inside and find a cup of tea. And so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again next time.